Okay guys, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about no audio output device install. So step by step guide, so number of solutions I'll be guiding you in this tutorial, one of those either solutions will definitely help you. The very first thing that you're going to check is your output device, no audio output device installed. So you don't have any audio output device, any device installed in your PC from where the audio will come as an output that you can listen. So very first thing, you're going to check your output device. So if it is any external device, you're going to headphones or whatever, make sure your jack is inserted properly. Whether it is a jack one or USB one, whether you are doing this in your laptop or the desktop, make sure it is installed properly. You're going to remove the jack and install it again. Next thing that you're going to check is, you put it in a different port and check. Okay, so maybe it is not working in this port and in another port it might be work for you. So you're going to check it in a different port. The next thing is uh, what you're going to do is uh, after doing this, uh, make sure you don't have any kinds of manufacturing defect. You check your device uh, in uh, some other friends of the family laptop, whether it's working in their laptop or a desktop or not. Problem is uh, with the device or problem, problem is with your desktop or the laptops. So you're going to check it in a different device and see if it is working or not in other device. So all these were the very first thing that you're going to check with your device. So the next things that you can try is you can hold the Windows key and press R key in your keyboard. As soon as you hold the Windows key and press R key, you're going to see this box. Here you have services.mse, S-E-R-V-I-C-E-S, services.mse. Click on OK after typing. And this will come up with this window since it, everything is arranged in alphabetical order you're going to come down to w and here must be the windows audio here's the windows audio so you can see so mine is uh, right away it's a windows audio so everything is perfect over here for mine it's running automatic and local service so uh, you can make noise see this so here in this uh, windows audio uh, what you're going to do is give a right click on it and we're gonna go to properties in a properties, make sure it is selected automatic. If some other option is selected, you're going to choose automatics and click on apply and OK. Sometimes you're going to stop the service and start it again, or you can restart the service. This also helps sometimes. So all these things you could do over here. The next step you could follow is, you can see here you have uh, audio symbols. In whatever condition it is, whether it is in a cross conditions or some L sign over here, it's working, not working, it's not a problem. Give a right click on it. And here you have uh, sound settings. So in a sound settings, you have lots of options over here. So come down a little bit. And you can see here you have advanced. In advanced, troubleshoot common sound problems. You have a problem with the output device. See? Uh, the problem is like no audio output device installed. Click on output device and it carry you to the number of steps. So one by one, you're going to try different steps. Let me show you. So it is searching for some help articles. Now here is, uh, if, uh, you're going to follow this, uh, read it and follow. If it helps you, cl uh, click on yes, otherwise no. See, you're going to follow this step. Make sure it help you. If you don't help, click on no. Make sure these steps help you. If it do not help you, click on no. Let's say if these steps help you, click on yes. Uh, in this way, you can follow the different steps over here uh, that will help you with the different uh, audio problems. Uh, so no audio output device. Now uh, following those steps, one by other steps might help you. So other things that you can try is here you have uh, Just below that, all sound device. Click on it. So problem is with output device. No audio output device installed. So here is the output device. Click on it. So make sure it is uh, allowed. Allow the apps and the windows to use this device for audio. So if it is not allowed, so you're going to allow it. Make sure it is allowed. The next step is, here you can see, uh, you have a number of options over here. You're going to choose the different option, which options works for you. 
one by one you're going to change different options after changing each option you're going to test it choose the possible uh, best value uh, highest value and test it and if the highest value do not work you you're going to go with the other options that really works for you so the changes and which one is works for you you're going to keep that next is uh, this audio enhancement it needs to be device default if it is off you're going to choose to change it to device defaults so all these were the different steps you could try over here for no audio output device installed next thing is here's this pc give a right click on it and then you're going to click on uh, manage you don't have a manage over here click on show more options and here's the manage click on manage so it will come up with this window so when you click on manage uh, let me make it a bit smaller so manage. click on device manager and you're going to check for uh, audio device so no audio output device installs so here you can see these are a couple of my output device so no audio output device installed here okay so a couple of my so wireless output device so you're going to select it and you're going to update the drivers click on scan for that reasons so close you right click on it even you can click on uh, disable and enable it again you want to click on uninstall you want to uninstall the driver and I restart your computer so when you restart it will automatically install the driver again so you don't have to worry about that if you have uh, any checkbox uh, where it says that you want to de delete the software from this computer so uncheck that box I do not have any checkbox over here so if you have any checkbox uh, you just uh, say that uh, you do not want to you want to check that box uh, you do not want to install and uh, delete the software otherwise you have to manually install the software downloading from the internet so uninstall and restart your computer it will automatically install the software next thing is this uh, you give a right click and you can scan for the hardware change this also helps sometimes uh, and go to properties we still do not work you right click here and click on properties so when you click on uh, properties uh, what it does is it's a right click it's a uh, properties and I don't know why it is happening like that oh here it is so properties you're going to do a driver uh, and rollback drivers see previously if your audio output device was uh, working fine and recent driver has caused the problem so you're gonna roll back the drivers and go to the previous one so all these were the possible best uh, options that you could try to prefer no audio output device installed okay so if this tutorial really help you you can follow this uh, tutorial and share this video with your friends and family and make sure you hit the like button subscribe and comment i'll catch you in the next tutorial with another greatest stuff